Trajection of latent titani is a medical sign observed in patients with low calcium or hypocalcemia. This sign may be positive before the other manifestations of hypocalcemia such as hyperreflexia and titani. And it is believed that it is more sensitive sign than Bostek sign. To elicit the trajection sign, a blood pressure cuff is placed around the arm and inflated to a pressure greater than systolic blood pressure and held in place for 3 minutes. This will occlude the brachial artery and consequent uh, hypoxia due to lack of blood flow. The patient's hypocalcemia will be aggravated and resulting in subsequent neuromuscular irritability will induce characteristic spasm in the hands and wrist. The wrist and metacarpophalangeal joint flex and distal interphalangeal joint and proximal interphalangeal joint extend and the fingers may adduct. The characteristic position is called main diacuture which is a French term that resemble the hand of an obstetrician during delivering a baby or simply we can call it carpal spasm. When it occurs in combination with spasm in the legs, it is called carpopedal spasm. So this sign may be helpful to detect latent titani or hypocalcemia. So let's see a live demonstration of a patient with positive trazio sign. So here I am inflating the VP cuff above the systolic blood pressure and it will be held for some time up to 3 minutes and we will observe the characteristics posture change and spasm in the wrist and hand. Here you can see the spasm in the thumb is already started. And flexion of the metacarpophalangeal joint and extension of the proximal and distal interphalangeal joint is also started. And fingers are getting little bit adapted. So this is carpal spasm or main diacuture. It is a French term that is used to describe the position of the obstetrician hand during the delivery of a baby. Now the BP cuff will be deflated. And after after deflating, we can see the hands position becoming normal. Another sign of latent titani is called sebastic sign where tapping of the facial nerve in front of the tragus may cause twitching of the ipsilateral facial muscles. Another thing I like to mention that trisier sign should not be confused with trisier sign which means the enlargement of the supraclavicular nodes especially anterior scalene or barcos gland it is a sign of metastasis from abdominal malignancy and less commonly lung cancer <laughs>